Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and I'm going to be starting it at night time because the main part of my skincare routine, I do at night and then in the morning, it's like all over the shop. You'll see like sometimes I just wash my face with a bit of water and put moisturizer on in the morning because my skin feels so clean from the night before. Um, but this is my skin at the moment. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I have a couple little breakouts because... Um, I was trying to, so, okay, let me give you a quick backstory. I've always had pretty decent skin. When I was a teenager, I just get, like, fungal acne here and here. And then I started using the Eco Tan water, tanning water and also the um, niacinamide from The Ordinary, which I still use now on my forehead, and it cleared a lot of my fungal acne. Every now and again, depending on, like, my diet, if I'm eating too much sugar, I'll get a couple breakouts on my forehead. And if, my shave, and if I shave my face and I don't clean it properly, or if I shave my face and I put makeup on it straight away, um, I do get some breakouts on the face. And yeah, the usual, if you go to bed with makeup on, I'll get a couple breakouts. So that's what's kind of happened down here. Um, I shaved my face, I went to bed with makeup on, so I've been struggling to get rid of a couple little bumps there. But overall, my skin's doing pretty well. Um, but there was a time when my skin, like... Maybe a month or two ago, my skin was not being the best because I wasn't cleaning it really at all. Like, I was hardly ever cleaning it morning or night. I was hardly cleaning my skin morning or night. Like, I would get up, I would go to the gym, um, I would sunbake, I would get the sweat on my face, I would just kind of rinse it. I wasn't really doing a proper cleansing routine because I sometimes get really lazy. And my skin broke out a bit. And so then I decided to research some Korean skincare because I heard it was really good. So I bought some Beauty of Joseon products. And those ended up breaking me out really bad. Um, the Essence Water and their one of their like niacinamide like serums, it really broke me out. So I stopped using those. I've got some new products from them as well as some other ones. And I think I've perfected my skincare routine right now. Um, that I do at night and in the morning. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Let's start with night time. Let's go. Okay, so when I, so at when I have okay, what the fuck am I saying? At night time, obviously I need to take my makeup off. If I'm not taking any makeup off, I'll jump straight into the cleansing. But if I'm taking makeup off, Alex, get away, get away from here. What are you doing? I know, but you're too loud. Get away. I'm filming. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption by my annoying brother who just is live streaming and making stupid fucking camera. Be normal, bitch. Okay. okay. So, removing makeup, I do remove makeup in a couple different ways. So, if I just have mascara on, I'll just start with my cleanser. I use an oil cleanser and then a normal cleanser, both from Beauty of Josian. So, I'll show you the ones I use. This is the oil cleanser I use, the Ginseng Cleansing Oil. So far, I've loved this. And personally, for me, my skin reacts really well with cleansing oils. I have dry skin, so I feel like it does like when it's really moisturized. Whenever I use a cleanser that is more stripping, that's when I tend to get more breakouts. So I have, I feel like this Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser, I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase this, just because it does feel like it strips my skin a lot. So, yeah, but I've been told not to just use an oil, but to be honest, when I've just used oil cleansers, is when my skin has looked the best. But I try and follow the advice of skin people and not do that. But fucking, anyways. But, okay, so when I'm removing my makeup, either, either I'll just use this. I have a little bit more on today, so. Oh, wait, it's in my bag. One second. <laughs> These makeup remover wipes from Neutrogena. Honestly, I do prefer using wipes because it's just easier for me to do it. I'll always be seeds and run out of cotton pads and stuff when I'm doing my cellar water. So I love these ones. Or if I'm... Motherfucker, what are you... Do? What is this dumb thing doing with the fucking focusing? Like, it's, you act like you're fucking made 100 years ago, you should be coming I love this. I'm obsessed with this makeup melting cleansing balm from Elf. This is literally better than the Neutrogena one. I have the Neutrogena one. I bought the mini version. I don't like it. This is really freaking good. Get it. Okay, I'm serious. I will use this to melt my makeup off when I have like a full face. Sorry if I keep looking in the thing. I use it to melt my makeup off if I've got a full face. Um, but right now I don't, so let's just use the wipes. But yeah, I've I've been wanting to do a video where I do like a get like a my 4 a.m. nighttime routine because honestly, my nighttime routine is really like just you know skincare, brush teeth, go to bed because I usually shower during the day. Or like late afternoon and go to bed, wake up, go to the gym, come home, shower. That's kind of what I do. Um, if I have somewhere to go during the day though, I'll shower in the morning. Or if I went somewhere the night before and I felt yucky, then I'll shower. But most of the time I just 
shower after the gym and then I'm just at home. So my nighttime routine really, really differs. But obviously my after going to the, you know, to a club or to a rave nighttime routine is pretty much the same. I always shower after a club or the rave, no matter what, always. I don't actually remember the last time I didn't do that. I think there was one time when I was just like, I drank a lot and I was like, yeah, there's no way. But for the most part, no matter what, I always try and have a shower because I just feel so much better when I wake up in the morning. I really struggle to sleep in after going out. So if I feel cleaner, I'm more like able to sleep in. Anyway, that's not really important. But if you guys are interested in seeing like a 4 a.m. after the club nighttime routine, let me know. As you can see, I've got a couple bumps here. My um, I, I have a feeling this is from that cleanser. Like I, I really, really do. But I don't want to waste all the products I bought. Like I spent money on this, so I'm like... <laughs> Keep using it, girl. But yeah, I feel like my skin is not in the best spot to be doing this skincare routine, acting like I know anything, but I swear this is just because, yeah, I also did a, I also did a chemical peel on my forehead um, almost a week ago now, so that also might have to do with it a little bit, but yeah. Okay, skin is cleaned, makeup is cleaned off. Next thing I do is cleanse. So we're gonna first start with the oil. Use some warm water, wet my face, squeeze some of the oil cleanser, rub my hands together, Rub it into my face. I'm telling you, if I just use this on its own, my skin would be so good. But anyway, I just, sometimes I feel like, I swear we know what's good for our skin, but then people tell us, like, otherwise. But I had another oil cleanser from a different Korean brand. I'm telling you, when I would only use that and then moisturize that, my skin was clear. But then everyone was like, you can't, you can't just use that. I'm like, why did I dry my skin after that? You can't use this. You have to use a proper one. So let me just do it to keep the people happy. But if anyone watching this agrees with me that an oil cleanser keeps your skin clear, please let me know because I need some support in my, in my theory, at least. If not my decision, my theory. Okay, now I'm using this one. I'm only going to use the smallest amount because it goes a long way. And then just try rubbing your nose. I break, I get a lot of like that filament shit on my nose, so cleanse that nose area because that's all like oil builds up. I always thought it was blackhead, but it's just oil build up, so try cleansing it. I will also just show really quickly some extra things I do to my skin as well to make my skin like look its best and stuff. But the next thing I'm gonna do is put on this toner, AHA slash BHA clarifying treatment toner. This is how I've been putting it on. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. Spritzing it on my face. If I'm supposed to use it differently, let me know, but I've been doing that. While I have that, I'm actually gonna be brushing my teeth because I like to let that dry. I like to let that dry um, on my face before I put any other products. So I'm gonna quickly brush my teeth. By now the toner should be pretty much dry and the next thing I put on is the Ordinary Nine Cinnamide. I love this holy grail. I tried to stop using it and then my skin was dying from the beauty of Josian and this really helped me. So I put a little bit on my hands and I put it all over my face. This stuff really, really helped my forehead. If you can look at my forehead, other than the slight breakouts here, there's like hardly any bumps. Back in the day, this used to just be all bumps, like fungal acne or whatever. So yeah, that really helped me a lot. The next thing I do is I take this moisturizer from The Ordinary. I'm gonna be buying the bigger size eventually. I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna be mixing with it this, the baddest bod drops. I use any face tan water drops, whatever. Mixing it with the moisturizer and then putting it on my skin. This is specific to summer because yeah, my neck too. My body is a lot more tan on my face. So doing this just helps my face have a bit of color. Yes, that it does wash off straight away. So I more do this at night. So then the next day when I go to the gym, my skin is like bronzier. And then if I just wash my face when I get home, like unless I'm putting makeup on, I'm just going to be at home. So it doesn't matter if I look pasty. But yeah, put that on. And then make sure you wash your hands after because it will stay in your hands if you're not careful. Okay, next. I take this Beauty of Joe Skin Revive Eye Serum and Retinol. And this is not, so every day I put a bit of this underneath my eyes, okay? But also every other day you can actually put it all over your face. And retinol is apparently softer or something than um, retinol. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing it to help my 
forehead and honestly I've been using it for like a few weeks and I swear my forehead has been looking better because I was getting some wrinkles. I do think it's helping but you know I could be crazy and not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to be taking this Sigma um, Melting Lip Mask and putting it on my lips. I don't always do this. I find it very annoying that you have to put your finger in. So it's not something I'll always do, but yeah. And then an extra thing if I actually remember to do it because I always forget to do things. What the hell is that shit on the floor? Is Eco Tan Glory Oil and I put this on my Axe Scars, which right now I've got one. Well, I've had one here for a few months on my lip. If I did this every day and use a little dermal roller on it, it'll probably be gone by now, but I never do it. Anyway, and then the leftover, put it on the little pimples that are having like trouble just leaving. And just rub it in and honestly, this helps a lot for it to go away. Okay, now really quick, some other things I do with my skincare. Randomly, I'll do masks whenever I can be bothered. I get a facial every now and again and she does derma planning, so she like shaves my face. Otherwise, I also shave my face myself using this um, flawless face razor, which a lot of people ask me about this. Um, I got it from the shaver shop. I use it whenever I'm going to like do makeup. I shave my face the night before. I'm going to shave my face before I try and ice my face. I don't do plan my face anymore myself. I used to, but I would break out if I did that, so I don't do that anymore. Another way to keep your skin clear is to look cleaner is like doing your eyebrows and stuff. I feel like that helps. That's the main thing that I do to my face. Um, wait, there was going to be something else I was going to tell you guys. Was it the eyelash serum? Because I'm going to go do that now too. I think it would have been just that. In the past, I've used the Derma Roller on acne scarring and it has helped got rid of it, but sometimes it just seeps. Okay, let's go back to my room. Oh my goodness. It needs to be yes, yes. Oh my god. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do in my bedroom, my skincare, is I'm going to be putting on this Lash Therapy Eyelash Serum. And I just put it on my lash line really messily. And I try and put this on every night or every second night because I'm trying to grow my lashes. I'm actually getting a lash lift tomorrow, so slay. And yeah, that is my nighttime skincare routine slash my main skincare routine of the stuff I do. And the next time you I'll be doing any kind of skincare will be in the morning. So I'll see you guys in the morning to do the other part. Good morning. So this morning I had a shower. That's so why my hair is like wet. And I'm going to show you my skincare that I do in the morning. So either... In the morning, I literally just get up, put some mascara on, go gym, come home, and then do whatever the fuck, like either wash my face properly. Sometimes I don't even wash my face. I just go about my day like it's actually bad. But this morning, I was feeling a little bit of texture on my chin, so I used this Sugar Baby Exfoliating Scrub. It's just like, it's a light exfoliator. And I just used that on my chin because um, I felt like a little bit of dead skin because I've got nails, I can't like pick anything off. I also wanted to quickly show this. This is from the brand Folia. I bloody love this. So whenever I have like a lot of texture on my nose, I'll take this and I either do it dry or with a bit of water and I lightly scrub my nose, but for a while. And it helps to just peel off all of that, those little like, that little build up that you get. Well, let me put this on so you guys can see it a bit better. All the build up and stuff because I tend to get that. Yeah, so that's just another thing I wanted to show that I use sometimes. This is such a good exfoliator. I honestly prefer this over using an actual scrub. I feel like this just really exfoliates your face better. Anyway, so I literally just washed my face with water and I don't feel like it needs anything else. I don't feel like I need to use a cleanser again because my skin is so clean from last night. I literally just wash it with water in the shower and then I am going to put a little bit of makeup on. So I'm going to be using this Glow Recipe. You don't need all these products, by the way. I just have this because a lot of people bought it, but honestly, you can just use this. It's the exact same. A-H-A, B-H-A, or this is P-H-A, B-H-A, but you can just use another toner, but... I'm, I just use this before I do makeup because I see people use it on TikTok, so I just want to be like them. It smells like aloe vera, kind of like, I don't really smell the watermelon in this, you know what I mean? But this does help my skin to feel like a little bit hydrated. And then before I do my makeup, I use the Dynasty Cream from Beauty of Josian. So as I said, the Beauty of Josian stuff I got rid of was, I got rid of their essence water and I got rid of their nine cinnamon. I actually have both the things here. I do not recommend these two products. I really don't recommend them. They broke my skin out very bad. Yeah, but the Dynasty Cream, I love it. Um, it's very, very thick and it kind of puts like a... Your skin kind of feels tacky when using it. So I like to do it before I do makeup. This is not my everyday moisturizer that ordinary one is. But this is, if I'm going to do makeup, this makes my skin look so good underneath. 
And yeah, I like to use it in that way. So I'm probably going to put like a bit of concealer on and stuff like that. And then obviously, you know, in the morning I also use like a bit of moisture, uh, a bit of like lip balm and stuff. But that's literally it for the morning. If I have like a shoot or something to do in the morning, then I do proper, do a proper skincare kind of toning situation. But like I'm never really doing that, you know. And if I am going to an event, it's usually halfway through the day. So then I will do like my a, a, a decent skincare routine. But I just don't feel the need in the morning after I clean my skin so well the night before to do anything to it. But yeah, that is my skincare routine. This is a look at my skin. I don't know the best way to show you my skin. As you can see, yeah, so. Like it's not 100% perfect. Obviously we've got the period, the hormonal breakouts and stuff that happen and then from shaving. But it's kind of just a part of life. The way I just see like skin problems are just like a part of life. Like there's nothing to be too upset over. I mean, I guess it's easier for me to say, like, my skin problems are different. Like, you know, I have a lot of texture around my nose and stuff like that. And, like, I have, like, these scars, like, on my lip that are so annoying. But for the most part, your skin is just... I get, like, random pimples on my back because I go to the gym and sometimes you sweat. Like, it's just... It's honestly just a part of life to have pimples. And as so long as you're wearing makeup, too, you'll probably get pimples. And, and honestly, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Like, everyone gets them. And it's kind of cute because it's kind of giving youth and young and whatever. And it's nothing that a bit of makeup can't cover and the beauty filter can't fix if you wanted to film a slay TikTok or take a selfie, you know, who gives a shit. All right, guys, I need to get ready for the rest of my day. Sorry to end this video with my hair like this. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed my skincare routine and yeah, peace and love. Mwah.